What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Angie and thank you for clicking on today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So we're gonna get right into this video guys. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, this is going to be a pack with me for a 24 hour trip, yes. 24 hours, me and my friends are going to be taking a girls trip to New Orleans. I'm super excited because I have never been to New Orleans and I just can't wait. We're going for 24 hours. It is Mother's Day week, so I'm just ready to have a ball, okay? I'm ready to enjoy myself and I wanted to bring you guys along with me on the packing journey because since it is only a 24 hour trip, I don't need to pack a huge luggage. I'm literally only going to be taking a personal bag that is free on all the airlines that they allow you to have. I'm gonna show you guys the bag that I use. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm bringing from toiletries to electronics to medicine to outfits and we're just gonna get to packing okay so if you are interested in watching this make sure you stay tuned give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below if you are not already and let's get to packing alrighty you guys so for packing I am going to be taking everything on this bag this is a Steve Madden like a weekender slash overnighter bag I can't link this down below for y'all because I got this at I think I got it at TJ Maxx like a two years ago two or three years ago so I'm sorry I cannot link it but pretty much it's super super cute it's like the olive green and black and it has gold detail it has a huge front pocket here that can fit a bunch of stuff I think I have like a little mini perfume or something in here which I'll take out it also has a second little pocket which is a zipper this pocket you guys can see like my whole entire arm fits in it it's super deep um typically I just put my laptop and stuff in here and then Lastly, it has the main pocket, which is like the main pocket to the inside of the bag. And then it has like this little pouch that every bag does with a zipper if you want to put like pads or a charger or whatever you want to put in here. Well, this bag is perfect. I use this bag anytime I'm taking a road trip, if I'm going somewhere for the weekend. Um, I've taken this on a cruise before. I've flown with this before. It does count as a personal item bag. So like I just said, I have flown with this before and I've used it as my personal bag and I'll just put like my purse inside of it. I have not had any issues with it, with any airlines telling me that it's too big. It may look big on camera and then once it's stuffed, like it looks bigger when you have it full but it honestly is really not that large guys like you can also like you can see you can use it with a strap like this or if you don't want to it does have the two little straps to where you can kind of like hold it as a purse or if you want to like throw it over your shoulder or something like that this is how it looks when I'm standing up so yeah it's not humongous it's perfect size and I have not had any issues with using this um, before on any airline so. so first things first on my list I have my toiletries Toiletries are a must have that everybody is gonna need when they're packing. So I'm bringing all of mine in this clear little like traveling slash makeup bag, whatever you wanna call it. It may look like a lot, but I mean, it kinda is, but every single thing that I need for this trip is in here so i'm gonna kind of just go over everything that's in this bag and show you guys what i'm bringing this for oral hygiene so i have this little listerine travel size listerine mouthwash this is 3.2 fluid ounces so we should be good with this i have ha i had this actually from a previous vacation that i took so i did not need to go buy this i also have this colgate toothbrush this is 2.5 ounces so a lot of times I see that people get confused like if you're going on a trip or you're going to be flying and you think that you have to buy small or mini sizes of everything. A lot of the times guys go through your house and look I literally only had to buy one or two things for this trip as far as like body care or like lotion and stuff like that. Everything else that I packed I literally already had in my house. So regular toothpaste this just so happened to be 2.5 ounces. It's under that 3.4 fluid ounces so you can take a full size toothpaste if you want to and this is not even full yeah I have this toothpaste and then I have my little toothbrush with a little toothbrush cover that I believe I got from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago this is the one that I always use when I go on trips so that is for oral hygiene now on to skincare I can say I do have a couple of different skincare items that I'm bringing just because this is literally everything that I use in my skincare routine when I wash my face in the morning and at night so I just wanted to make sure that I didn't skip out or miss anything because if you know, you know, that's typically 
when you end up breaking out and I don't want that. So for skincare, I am bringing this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. This is two ounces and again, you can get this in the travel size um, aisle at Walmart, Dollar Tree, Target. So I have this face wash. I'm taking this uh, hyaluronic acid toner for my face. This I actually think that I got in an Ipsy bag a couple of months ago. So again, shop around your house guys because you will be surprised at the stuff that you will find and this is only one fluid ounce so we're good with toner. For my serums, I am bringing my Holy Grail, my Good Molecules um, serums. These are both one fluid ounce guys. This is the discoloration correcting serum which is really good for like dark spots and stuff and then this is the hyaluronic acid serum which is just good for hydration and moisturizing your skin if you suffer from dry skin like me so these are the two serums i'm bringing and then for moisturizer i'm bringing this pond moisturizer i love this stuff it's super cheap and affordable you can find it everywhere and it works really good on my skin so this is only 1.75 ounces and this is what i'm bringing for my face moisturizer and then lastly i'm bringing my spf this is just a little container that i've had for years now um and i always use it for my spf because the spf that i use is the super goop glow oil and it's like a five ounce bottle so i can't bring this whole thing unless i'm taking a checked bag which i'm not so i just pour some in here and this is what i use for my spf and then lastly i'm just gonna bring some cotton rounds to apply my toner and stuff like that which i have like six little cotton rounds here so that is all for skincare moving right along to body care guys this is literally the only thing that i had to go buy as far as like travel care items this is the olay hyaluronic acid body wash if you know you know if you've been watching any of my other like hygiene videos olay and especially this one in particular fired like so this was only two dollars and 99 cents two hours later this was only 2.99 it's three fluid ounces and this is more than enough i can take a shower at night and then another shower again in the morning before we go to the airport and i'll still have some left over to utilize for another trip so i didn't mind buying this all of the body washes that i had at home are full-size body washes and i don't really care to buy like the clear containers and fill up clear containers with stuff I already have I just and then you have to clean them I just really don't like that so this is the only thing that I had to go buy this is what I will be using for my body wash and then for deodorant again I had this from a previous trip this is the Dove Advanced Care Clear Finish Travel Size Deodorant this is half an ounce so it's not even one full ounce it's just half an ounce so I have this for deodorant and then for lotion, I have this Champagne Toast lotion from Bath & Body Works. If you know, you know, Champagne Toast is like a staple. This is only 2.5 ounces. And again, I had this at home. Had never opened it. I don't even remember when I bought this, but I had it in like a little drawer that I keep like perfumes and like body sprays and stuff like that. I found it in my house and it was brand new. So this is going to be my lotion for the trip. Alrighty. And then lastly in this little bag, I have just a little edge brush. It has the little edge brush, a comb, and then, you know, stuff to put like your gel or edge control on it. Have this, and then I have some Tresemme travel size hairspray. This is 1.5 ounces, so we're in the good with that. Again, I already had this from a previous trip, so I did not even need to buy anything. The only thing that I can say I'm probably gonna have to buy once we get there is some gel, because the only gel that I have at my house is the big tube of Eco Styler gel. I know that they do sell the small containers at Walmart, and I think they're only like two ounces. They're small little, like, little tubes of gel, but it's not that serious. I'm not going back to the store. I leave tomorrow for this trip, so yeah, I'm I'm just gonna do my hair in the morning go and then when i get there i could just go to cvs or something and buy some gel to do my hair i'll also be taking my paddle brush i have some wipes so i have some water wipes which is self-explanatory this is pretty much for when you do the do you have some wipes to wipe yourself down um i also like to have this if i want to wipe my hands or something like that and then self-explanatory as well i always love to have some clorox wipes whether it's to wipe down your stuff in the hotel room once you get in if you want to wipe down your seat in your tray on the plane you have some clorox wipes if you're taking an uber and you want to wipe down your seat always make sure you have some clorox wipes so these are the two 
essentials that I have. I also have this little pack of Q-tips, which you can get at Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target. It's like a dollar and it comes with Q-tips. Again, for disinfectant, I have this little mini Lysol spray. I have seen like on Instagram, a lot of people did not even know that they have these in a travel size, um, but they do. So go to Walmart, Target. I don't know if they have it at Dollar Tree. I think they do. And you should be able to find a little to-go size Lysol spray. Same, I like to have this if I wanna spray it on the plane, in the bathroom on my in my hotel room wherever it's always good to have Lysol and this is only 1.5 fluid ounces so don't have to worry about any issues with this I have a razor in case I need to shave now moving on to like some of my must-haves I always make sure that I have like a medicine pouch so this is my little medicine pouch that I bring on every single trip I go on whether it's a road trip a cruise a plane wherever we're going this is going to be with me at all times. So this is like a little Clinique pouch that I've gotten before. Actually, you know what? I think this is an Ipsy bag that was sent to me before. So use your resources, guys, use your resources. But first thing that I have in here is this little Johnson & Johnson's uh, mini first aid kit. You can find these at Walmart, Target. I think they have my Dollar Tree as well. They're like $3 and it comes with like gauze, band-aids. So I have some band-aids, gauze, and then I added some little alcohol swabs that I had in my house already. Just in case if you cut yourself or something, you wanna make sure you're covered, so has that. And then it also has a little pouch of antibiotic um, ointment, so. That is everything that is in my little first aid kit. Next up, I have Tums, okay? And I have it in a Ziploc bag because look, we're improvising, okay? I get really, really, really bad heartburn, acid reflux, especially if I'm drinking, yeah. I'm gonna get heartburn. So I have to make sure that I have Tums on deck. And if you know, Tums come in a huge container that's just not like packing friendly. So that is why I just put some in a Ziploc bag. Next, I also have some Tylenol and some Advil. Again, I put it in a Ziploc bag because I don't need the whole container. It's gonna be rattling around. It's gonna take up too much space because the containers are pretty thick. So I just put enough in a baggie for if I need some, if my friends need any, they have some. Um, Advil and Tylenol. Next up, I have some goody powders. If you know, you know, if you ever have a horrible headache or I use them for headaches. I know other people use them for other stuff, but I always use it for headaches. It's already in a powdered form. It tastes disgusting, but it works super quick. So if you don't wanna wait for your pill to dissolve, get you some goody powders. It's gonna be disgusting, but it's gonna literally work within like 10 minutes. So I have goody powders. Next up, I have some Benadryl. Again, this is everything that I always keep in here. These are essentials, whether you get allergies or if you get like a, a, I don't know, like a little rash or whatever, baby. We got some Benadryl if you need it. And then I also have some Tylenol cold and flu, a morning and a nighttime pill, just in case if you get sick. Sometimes stuff like that happens. That happened to me before when I went on a cruise, I randomly literally like got a cold out of nowhere and I felt horrible and it lasted for about two days, but that's why I always try to make sure that I have like cold and flu medicine on me. I know that there's stores over there. If I need to go to the store, I can always just go to CVS, but I just like to always have some on hand just in case. And then the last medicine that I carry is uh, Imodium. If you know, you know, baby. Ever since we went on a best friend's trip to Las Vegas, I got super drunk, super hungover, and I had the D word, diarrhea. Yeah, if you have diarrhea, get you some Imodium, baby. Take you some Imodium, it is going to stop the diarrhea. Yes, <laughs> so I always make sure, especially on a trip like this where I know we're going to be partying and turning up, I make sure that this right here, Pepto-Bismol who? Get you some Imodium, okay? So that is everything that I carry in my little medicine pouch. Alrighty guys, lastly, uh, for stuff that I'm packing other than like clothes and stuff, um, obviously I'm bringing bras, underwear, um, y'all don't need to see that. Um, but this is my makeup bag. So I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be wearing makeup. I usually don't wear makeup on a daily, on a daily basis. But just in case if we decide to go like to a fancy dinner or if I just choose that I wanna dress up because I'm kid free and I'm with the girls, 
like I just want to make sure that I have my makeup so I'm not gonna go over every single thing that I have in here it's really not that much Ooh. It's not that much, but pretty much just the basics. So I have a beauty blender. This is a Real Techniques beauty blender. So this is what I use for foundation. I usually don't use foundation unless it's like a super, super, super like formal event, like a wedding or photo shoot, or like if I'm getting my makeup done. If I'm doing my makeup myself, I'm using a CC cream. This has SPF 40 in it. So this is another reason why I love it because it already has SPF in it. So I'm covered when I wear it. It is medium coverage. It's a skin tint i have the nude glow one they have a matte one they have an illuminating one this one is a nude glow so it's more so shiny um and dewy i like dewy makeup a dewy finish i don't like a matte finish like i told you guys before i already suffer from dry skin so matte makeup just makes my skin look more dry and i don't like it so this is my holy grail i love this stuff so this is what i will be taking for foundation and then i just apply it with my little foundation brush this is from il maquillage you guys have probably seen it it's like that little makeup brand that pops up on instagram and stuff that says it can like color match you and stuff they sent me a free brush and a concealer a couple years ago the brush is bomb so i've kept it and this is what i use for foundation and the rest of the stuff i have in here is just simple like my nyx cosmetics brow glue for my eyebrows this is the concealer i use so it's the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer in the color Medium Sand. Again, this is a small one, so works perfectly. And then I just have like some little essentials. So I have some cuticle oil. I have some facial spray, the Mario Badesco. And then I have my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Again, this is like a small little travel size one. This is my Holy Grail lip balm, the Summer Fridays lip balm. This is the uh, vanilla scent or shade or flavor, whatever one you want to call it. I have some hand cream from Bath & Body Works and Strawberry Pound Cake, if you know, you know. And then lastly, I have my perfume. So y'all probably wondering when I was showing my body care, I didn't show my perfume because I had it in this pouch. So these are the perfumes that I'm going to be bringing. I just started doing this about two months ago where I see new perfumes on Instagram, TikTok, and you know, you wanna try it out. So I will make sure I go into the store, I smell it, and if I like it, I buy the sample size. Um, this is not the one ounce, cause they have, they do have like a really teeny, teeny, tiny ounce um, sample size. But these are just the sample size perfumes. I get these sample size perfumes to just like try out the perfume before I can, before I commit to a full bottle. I know a lot of people do like Scentbird, um, um, dossier like stuff like that but this is just stuff that I already had so the first one that I'm bringing is the replica beach walk this is the perfect outside fragrance if you're gonna be like outside walking around and stuff it just smells so freaking good and like refreshing um it literally smells like the name it smells like beach walk so I'm bringing beach walk I have my favorite this is perfect by Marc Jacobs and there's only a tiny bit left, so I'm bringing this. And then I'm also bringing my Prada Candy, which is also bomb if you like like a sweet scent. And this one has a little bit more, but these are perfect for traveling. They fit right in your purse. I always just put them right in my purse and you just freshen yourself up whenever you feel like it. And you're freshening yourself up with some good perfume and not like a body mist. So the, the smell is gonna last on you all night or during the day. And I just love it. All right, so moving on to electronics. So I do have all of my little electronics in this little pouch here. I am going to be bringing my camera. I'm shooting on it, I'm filming on my camera right now. So obviously I'm not showing y'all that, but my camera is just gonna be in my purse the whole time or on my arm. I have the little like wrist attachment. So my camera is coming with me. And the rest of my electronics are in here so first things first i have like a little selfie stick um all of this stuff like electronics and stuff will be linked i'll have it linked down below in my amazon storefront but this is from the brand cjic and it's like a um expandable selfie stick slash tripod for your phone so i'm gonna be bringing this 
and the thing I love about it it comes in this little like satin case so you can just put it away and I also have an extra SD card for my camera obviously I will be vlogging so make sure you guys stay tuned for the New Orleans vlog I will be vlogging but I have an extra SD card I have my airpods which is in this super cute Starbucks case um, I'll have this link down below as well because I did get it off of Amazon and then I also have all of my extra camera batteries I have the battery that's in my camera right now that I will be charging tonight and then I also have two other batteries that are currently charging so in total I'll have like seven or six camera batteries because again I'm gonna be vlogging I also have this portable charger again I'll make sure that it is linked down below this is from the brand I walk it's just a portable charger it's perfect to have for us because we're gonna be out on the strip and walking around all day and I'm not gonna have time to just sit there and charge my phone you open this top up and you literally just plug it into your phone and you can walk around with your phone in your hand while it's charging so it's super convenient and then lastly I'll also be bringing my phone charger which is charging my phone right now so that is everything for electronics that I will be bringing all right you guys that brings us to the end of my pack with me video I really really hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys got some ideas on what you should take on your next 24 hour trip or weekend trip I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again give this video a huge thumbs up if you found it helpful if you liked it make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not already and I will see you guys in the next video Bye.